Have you ever noticed how extroverts seem to steal the show in corporate boardrooms, while introverts quietly manage the day-to-day -day grind? But guess what? Being introverted doesn't mean you can't reach the top. Today, I'm flipping the scene and uncovering the secrets of thriving as a leader, even if you are an introvert. I will show you how to turn your quiet strength into a force to be reckoned with in the corporate work, and it's all backed by science. So without further ado, let's get started. Introverts aren't just the quiet ones in the corners, they have superpowers. Instead of getting energy from big social gatherings, they recharge with quiet time, diving into their thoughts and ideas. Now let's talk about introvert leaders. They have some awesome tricks up their sleeves. Thoughtful thinkers. Introvert leaders don't rush into speaking. They take a moment to think before they talk. Plus, they are great listeners, comfortable with moments of silence. Empathy expert. These leaders are like mind readers. They understand other feelings and need well because they are such good listeners. It helps them build strong bonds with their teams. Team players. Introverted leaders don't need to be the star of the show. They are happy to share the spotlight, letting others shine. It creates a positive environment where everyone's ideas are valued. Let's explore deeper into the strength and essential skills that make introverts leaders stand out. Professor Francesca Gino, along with Adam Grant and David Hoffman, conducted a fascinating study comparing extrovert and introvert leaders. Their findings shed light on effectiveness of introvert leadership especially when managing proactive employees. Proactive employees are the go-getters, always ready to share ideas and collaborate with their managers to solve problems. They are the ones who speak up with suggestions and concerns without being prompt. The study involving 57 pizza store managers and 374 employees evaluated managers' personality traits and employees' perception of their workplace openness to new ideas. The manager's overall performance was then measured based on the store revenue. Surprisingly, the research revealed that introvert leaders excel when managing proactive employees. In such environments, introverted leaders foster an atmosphere where proactive employees thrive, resulting in higher profits for the stores. Now let's talk about the four ways being introverted can make you an awesome leader. Sometimes the biggest thing holding you back is your thoughts. In a study, researchers wanted to know why more introverted people weren't become leaders. They asked 184 students to rate if they were more extroverted or introverted. Then they talk about how they felt about leading a group. The introvert students mostly felt negative. They thought they would feel upset or nervous if they had to lead. They were worried they mess up if they had to talk in front of others. But when they did the group activity, they found out something surprising. Leading wasn't as scary as they thought it would be. It turns out that simply believing in your success can make a big difference for introverts. Peter O'Connor, one of the researchers, wrote in quartz that introverted who were eager to participate were just as likely as extroverts to become leaders. Our study found that introverts and extroverts who predicted they would feel similarly low levels of negative emotions in leadership situations were equally likely to emerge as leaders. Other research also shows that introverts can engage in extroverted behavior and even enjoy it when they have to. If you believe in yourself and develop a management style that suits you, you can be just as successful as any extroverted leader. To thrive as an introvert leader, you have got to understand the unique advantages that come with your personality. In an article by Elizabeth Bernstein in the Wall Street Journal, she points out that introverts often have strengths that extroverts don't. For example, introverts are great at paying attention to details and thinking critically. Plus, they are more focused on helping others grow and succeed. And guess what? Professor Francesca Gino from Harvard Business Review agrees. She found that extroverted managers sometimes struggle when their team members challenge their ideas. Introverted leaders are more open to their team's input, creating an environment where everyone feels comfortable contributing. This was shown in Gino's t-shirt experiment. She divided college students into groups and gave some students, quote, praising extrovert leaders like John F. Kennedy 
and other quotes about introverted leaders such as Gandhi. During the experiment, some fake team members suggested trying a Japanese folding method to win a contest. The introverted leaders welcomed the suggestion, leading to a 28 boost in productivity. However, many extroverted leaders felt threatened and didn't use the idea hurting their team's productivity. Having proactive people on your team is a real plus for introverted leaders. They bring a lot to the table, they are not afraid to speak up and share their ideas, which means your team can benefit from their constructive feedback and collaboration. For these people, conflicts and mistakes aren't something to be avoided. They see them as chances to learn and grow. And here's the cool part. When you have proactive team members, you will notice more innovation and problem solving happening at a faster pace compared to more passive teams. They are confident in sharing their ideas and opinions, which make it easier to identify problems and come up with the best solutions. Introverts have a cool knack for making others feel relaxed, mainly because they are great listeners. Imagine meeting someone as big as Bill Gates, the co-founder of a massive tech company, well, Lee did just that at the University of Texas. Despite his fame, Gate was super chill, chatting with her like they were old pals. Lee felt a huge weight lift off her shoulders during their talks. Gate listened to her, nodded along, and genuinely seemed interested in what she had to say. Kate's presence had a remarkable effect on Lee. It gave her the confidence to open up and feel sure of herself in her work. This is huge, especially in industries where things can get very unpredictable. Lots of people face moments of doubt and insecurity at work. As an introvert leader, your ability to listen well and create a safe space for your team to speak up is gold. When they feel comfortable around you, they are more likely to trust you. And when there is trust, magic happens. Your team will follow your lead, bring you their problems, and share their brilliant ideas. So next time you're feeling anxious about a big meeting, remember that sometimes just being a good listener can make all the difference in the world. In 2001, Campbell's Soup, a global recognized food brand, faced a significant crisis. Douglas Conant, the CEO of Campbell Soup, faced a big challenge as an introvert leading a huge company. Despite enjoying his alone time, his job required him to be around people all the time. Reports from Gallup revealed that he had the lowest employee engagement scores among all Fortune 500 companies, with about 62% of managers feeling disengaged at work and 12% completely disinterested. Additionally, 119 work groups were ranked in the bottom quartile of Gallup's employee engagement database. This toxic environment results in low quality products and in decline in sales and stock. In meetings, some people mistook his thoughtful silence for disinterest, but in reality he was deeply engaged in thinking things through. Conan decided to open up about his introverted nature with his team. He asked for their feedback, which turned out to be incredibly helpful. Instead of pretending to be someone he wasn't, Conan stayed true to himself. He made sure to be kind and respectful to everyone, going the extra mile by writing thank you notes to every employee. And guess what? It paid off. Campbell's soup thrive even in tough times. So if you are an introvert, don't doubt yourself. You have got what it takes to be an awesome leader. Would you believe me that you could become a better leader by doing nothing? I explained how to do it in this video. If you could pick any topic for our next video, what would it be? I want to hear from you. Share your recommendations in the comments below. Thanks for watching and see you next week.